Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. This is Jeremiah. It's J-Man Manero with J-Man Speaks coming to you live with Marky Lemons right out today. We're at J-Man's Ed Talks number 12, I think. We're talking about IGTV. Woo! So, um, Marky, if somebody's been hiding in a cave somewhere or totally off the internet, maybe introduce yourself in case they don't know who you are, the social media strategist of the world. What's going on, J-Man? This is your girl, Marky Lemons Rouse, social media speaker and Facebook live host, loving all things live video. Something that we're going to talk about today. <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're talking about today's topic is IGTV. And for those who aren't acronym crazy like we are, Instagram television. Okay, this is the sensation that's sweeping the nation that's been around now. For a while, but wasn't great. And if you guys follow either me or Marky, we were talking about it last year saying, you need to get on here. You need to start building content because it's going to change. It's going to get better. And the time is now. So why don't you start us off a little bit about what you're seeing with, with the IGTV. The new, new so change. when IGTV uh, came to the market, um, Instagram television, I believe that it was poised to be to vertical video what YouTube is to video. It right. is a vertical only station or channel, right? And it was to take that vertical video content from stories or other vertical content and to give you long form video content. So initially when it came to the marketplace, your video needs to be a minimum of 15 seconds up to 10 minutes unless you have more than 10,000 followers then you can load this vertical video up to 60 minutes. Instagram made a change 14 uh, to 21 days ago, and I have personally seen a 818% increase in my IGTV video views. One little change. Why so precise? She's <laughs> like 818%. Well, you know what I did? I, I, I added all the numbers up. I divided, <laughs> so I did a mathematical equation because yeah. what they had sent out an email and they said that they had seen a 300 to 1000 percent increase. And so I was seeing realtors say, oh, we've seen an increase, but we don't think it's that much. We don't think it's 300 percent. And so I said, well, let me go do the mathematical calculation on what I was seeing in the past. So I took four videos from before they changed the feed. And then I took four videos I added the numbers in each of the categories and then I divided and it gave me that 818 percent increase because I wanted to to leverage was I really seeing an increase and yes I've seen a substantial increase in vertical video views and I'm elated by the fact that I had become familiar with it before they made the change and so one of the recommendations I'm making to realtors right now if they want to go over and try it but they have no vertical video created I say go back and pull out a square or a horizontal video and use a tool like InShot where essentially you're sliding that square or vertical vi uh, I'm sorry that square or horizontal video into a vertical frame to load it to IGTV yeah, so I I, uh, I I've done that myself, and it's I use InShot, which is a great app on your phone or on your computer. I use a program called Movavi, and I'll I'll type it in the comments here, uh, Movavi Video Suite, because it allows you to do that same thing. What you do is you import your horizontal video, and then you change the aspect ratio instead of sixteen nine that most people would do their videos widescreen. It goes nine sixteen, which is what you need. For the IGTV and if it's horizontal already you'll have those black bars on the top and bottom like you would if you did a vertical video that you were trying to upload to YouTube uh, but I'll, I'll post in the comments after our broadcast I have a, a tech tip to show them how to fill in you know like um, you have vertical filled is what you would do typically when you had the, the vertical videos and you're trying to do it with YouTube it's almost like a horizontal mm -hmm. fill so you could fill in that space and use it for additional yeah. branding and um, it's additional ad space really if you're gonna go horizontal you have it here and then you have all the space above and below I'm seeing um, but I have to really go in and track my numbers I wanted to say about 10 about a close to a thousand percent on some of my stuff of you know before let's say it was anywhere from 20 to 40 views 
and this is all organic, right? Your numbers are organic as well, just yes. organic viewership. Um, and now I'm seeing anywhere from 150 to 250 views per post. And it's similar content. It's not like one was this groundbreaking video that people just flock to, right? It, let's put that out there because yours were the same too. You're kind of comparing similar style videos. Is that right? Similar style videos. Now, one thing I will tell people, because there is a little secret, in order to get that type of view, what you're going to have to do with your IGTV is it has to be longer than 60 seconds or it will not preview in the Instagram feed. So you oh. have to allow, uh, but if it's not 60 seconds, it won't be able to preview anyway. So I've been telling realtors, uh, initially I was on this whole create two 60 second videos per day, one vertical, one horizontal. Now I'm on the 60 ish because I need it to be longer than 60 seconds. Right. Um, and so you, you want that preview because that's where you're going to leverage those numbers. One thing that we see across these platforms is the fact that they will change the algorithm or make one shuttle shift, you know, shift and how the tool is used. And overnight, you're a sensation. Right. Uh, well, not quite a sensation, but more you're getting more. way more views than you were getting before. Yeah. And. Um, now, I was saying this last year. Cause it last year it was like everybody go, why are you on it? Why are you why are you building content for IGTV? And I said, man, look at it's if it, it, if it was a standalone product, it would have failed, right? If it wasn't tied to the six hundred plus million users of Instagram, it would have fallen on its face horribly. But it wasn't. It was tied in with Instagram, so it's not. Well, I knew it wasn't going anywhere, and I knew they were trying to like like you said, shuttle little shifts. Let's change this. Let's change that. And and is. I like what you said about making it longer than 60 seconds because if it's not longer than 60 seconds, then why would they go to your IGTV? They were just going to watch it in your, in, in your news feed of your Instagram and then be done. If it's 90 seconds, like, you know, I think even like make it three, four, five, ten. 10, you know, if you could do 10, that's great without dragging it on. But at least it's like, just like you said, a trailer to a longer movie or more content so you have to really make the meat of it in the beginning because you want them to watch that and go oh it's like you know you're watching your favorite show and they're like tune in next week and you're like oh i don't have to i can go right there and go to igtv and you know continue watching it i think that's important when people are creating content just don't put anything out there right is that the message yeah. And you know what? IGTV, as a result of using it, I've also grown my followers. Uh, oh, let me see. 10, about 15 percent in 60 days. And all of this is organic. So I haven't spent any money over on IG on Instagram at all for any of this. It's just a matter of being consistent and also listening to Mark Zuckerberg. So when you think about Instagram and trying to grow a strategy with IGTV. What I'm keeping in the back of my mind is that Mark Zuckerberg has stated that 2019 is going to be a year of messenger, stories, and live. So everything that he says that he wants, I'm looking at the platforms that he controls, being Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, WhatsApp, and I'm seeing how can I leverage these platforms in order to not have to spend any money to continuously generate leads. And so as long as we are in content creation mode all the time, oh. you know, people say, well, do you spend money on ads? I'm like, no, I create too much content. Like, I don't get a chance to spend money because <laughs> right? I'm too busy creating ads, you know, creating content. So uh, I, I am looking that uh, if I do spend some money, I should see a substantial shift with all the content that I have. Well, and... I get that question a lot. And actually, we have this question from Lindsay Hart. She's from Ithaca, New York. She runs a successful team out there. Shout out to Lindsay. She had a question on what topics or content do you find gets more views? And I just want to say, like, with the content, same thing for me. It's organic. But it's all about the content, right? It's, it, it's the same reason that Netflix invests billions of dollars in original programming so that you will tune into their channel because they have original content 
So I think if you're if you're seeing what the com competition is doing, or if you're seeing what other people are doing in the market, don't copy it because then it's just the same old show that other people are producing. But try to, you know, I try to tell people do what you know more than anybody else. What's your niche, your area? What can you talk about without even thinking? And that's what people are going to tune in to listen to because they can't get it anywhere else. Um, what What are you seeing? What content do you find gets more views? So I, I have uh, two content strategies. One is the get to know Marky better. So I okay. I tend to talk about things people don't talk about, but if the it, the engagement world. So I have some Facebook live videos that have been viewed over 30,000 times because it's personal in nature. So I've done crabs in a barrel and I tell the story about being born and raised as a fifth generation entrepreneur and how you should come from contribution and collaborate with people. I've talked about the fact that my parents were uh, both addicts and being the child of addicts. I've talked about domestic abuse. So those are the get to know Marky, feel a sense of connection videos and I'm very well connected I would think in my marketplace people know me by my name because of my videos the other ones are my lead gen videos my lead generation videos what has worked very is interviewing lenders and service providers as real estate professionals it's hard for us to admit that a listing is not engaging content, right? Because every time you post a listing, there's three things in every single listing that does not engage your audience. It's the area that's not, you, you write on the other side of the train track, right? They, they don't want to be on that side of the train track. So they instantly disconnect. It's the price point. If it's not what they can afford, they instantly disconnect. And then it's bedroom, bathroom count. If they need three bedrooms, two baths, and you're talking about three bedrooms, one and a half baths, they instantly disconnect. I like to find content that has no disconnection or disqualifiers in it. Something that would resonate with a large just fear because one, they'll stay on longer, but it's just more meaningful information. So so I'm going to do those personal videos and then I'm going to engage a thought leader in my marketplace. I want to pick someone who is smarter than me. It's OK to be the dumbest person on your live videos because you're going to get educated in the process. Absolutely. And I like them to come on and educate my sphere of influence. Like that Con content without disqualifiers. <clears throat> yeah. Because, I mean, it's, yeah, your, your listing is great and you should market your listing because you have a listing agreement to do so. But it is not what is connecting. So here would be the example. I'm on the south side of Chicago. Chicago, there are numerous reports that will let you know Chicago is the most segregated city racially and economically. So when I look at the Chicago south side, my buyers need down payment assistance. They need closing cost. We could do a lot of purchase rehab loans because we still have a little bit of inventory from the distressed real estate market. I'm not going to come on and talk about luxury real estate. I'm not talking about jumbo mortgages because that doesn't solve the problem of most of the buyers and sellers in the community that I profess to be an expert in. So you want to think about niche and what you can own as a niche. And then you want to bring in all the players in that niche area in order to educate the people because uh, this is television you know what i'm saying we, we, right. this is real this is really tv right. and the news is coming here to get their content you know right. how many times have you watched the evening news and you know for a fact you saw it on facebook first right every day <laughs> every day yeah every right day. So, so this is the news they just validated and get all of the facts hammered down before they put it out to their to their sphere of influence so that type of video content has really been working well for me. And I've mentioned this young lady's name probably three times in two days. Her name is Nina Gonzalez. She actually hired me as a loan originator a couple of years ago because she wanted to set up her landing pages and develop more engaging content. Her text to me on Friday started with, girl, I need to start sending you screenshots of all these leads I'm over here generating. <laughs> And so what I encouraged her to do, since realtors won't reach out to you, you need to reach out to realtors to make them more comfortable with doing video. And you teach them how to bring you to their sphere of influence. Right. 
and it's apparently it's working because the text was girl. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. And people want to get to know you. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, I don't know whose quote. Oh, it was Chelsea Pites, right? She says, "Your brand is not a house; it is your face." Oh, I like that. That's a okay, one. so you want them to see this, right? Uh, whether whether it's perfect to you or not, because there is truth in screen to screen selling. So if we look at conversion rates, people are going to have a substantially higher conversion rate if they're doing video content, right? And e even if it's IGTV, um, they're going to have a substantially higher conversion rate because people get to see them, see how they interact. And someone told me today, a guy who used to work at Lead Pages, he's now over at Active Campaign. So these are two big, nice companies. He says, um, what he, he said, Marky, People don't want the re the professional you. They want the real you. So stop with all this dress it up because you know somebody else going to show up. Right. Show them the person who's really going to show up, not the right. dressed up version of you. I, I love that because I, I think so many times agents are wrapped up into and it, it rang true with previous generations. I feel like, you know, where they had their professional business persona, right? And then they were a different person when they clocked off, you know, when they, when they checked out or when they finished punching that clock. And I think sometimes agents are so wrapped into like, well, I don't want to let them know, get to know the real me. And it's like, well, they're going to get to know it either way. Right. I mean, you're not going to, you're going to just be you be authentic. Stop, stop trying to fake it till you make it. That's the stupidest statement I've ever heard in my life. Just be you. Yeah, just be just be you. And I tell people all the time, I'm generally 90 percent of the I know it's happened actually in every single room I've been in. Uh, <laughs> and I've been going with this now for about two years now. I am the shortest, darkest, roundest person in the room with the least amount of hair. Probably one of the reasons I won't go on a dad because then I had to change it. Right. Um, <laughs> but, but that is the truth. And people do not care about how I look. They care if I can solve their problems and right. so you want to always be an asset and when we think about real estate education and the content in which one should share right a lady told me years ago she says marky um education is like an apple tree the higher up you go the less likely you are to be picked over so you know a lot of people pick over that low-hanging fruit you want right. to make yourself that high hanging fruit. And we can demonstrate that we're high hanging fruit through video content. We can be the expert and they don't care if we butt ugly as long as we solving their problems. No, there's ugly people doing business every day. <laughs> <laughs> there's an ugly person right now that got, ugly. A <laughs> got a viral. You know, so it's like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. if you can solve their problems, if you can give them the best deal, they will do business with you. They will do business with you. So I think moving forward that realtors need to create vertical video every single day for the purpose of stories, for the purpose of IGTV, because IGTV is going to be that place, that resting place, similar mm -hmm. to YouTube for vertical video content. I'm going to actually see if I can share my screen here and bring up IGTV could be disastrous but let's see what happens well you forewarned them <laughs> yeah i mean it doesn't matter let me try new things so you see here so this is my I, igtv and i you know you can would, tell them a little bit about how you can not just you don't just have to upload it from your from your phone like some people think right so igtv um Unlike some of the other features in Instagram, you can load this vertical video content from your mobile device or from your computer. OK, mm -hmm. so any, it, it could be actually from your iPad. So if you have any video content stored on these devices, you can actually load it directly to IGTV, even from your desktop. Keep in mind, it still needs to be a minimum of 15 seconds, no more than 10 minutes, unless you have more than 10,000 followers. Mm -hmm. And what you want to think about for this to turn out great, all right, for you to maximize it, you want it to be longer than 60 seconds. And I would recommend you use a tool like Canva, C-A-N-V-A. Mm -hmm. You 
create a you can actually take a new thumbnail from the video itself so you could choose a different um thumbnail from the video but you want to center those words and true marketing to the center of the screen so that it will display great and preview so now um IGTV has people thinking a little bit too much. You got to get it the perfect duration, right? And then you want to put a thumbnail, but you need to center it so that it displays well in the preview, okay? So there's just something, and I've done it all wrong because I've tried it all. I've deleted things because I'm like, oh, yeah, I did this cute one, and it had my head because I'm thinking about the one-third. So my head is up in the one-third uh, corner. All you can see was my chin, right? I'm right. like, uh, yeah, no, we're going to redo that one. So you want to think about not only its vertical video, but how does it preview in the Instagram feed? And so you want everything to be cute and pretty. But all of these things we're doing, all the tools we're sharing are free tools. All realtors have to do is commit to doing it. Right. I mean, you know, I mean, we're not nickel and diamond them. All they got to do is do it. Right. Let me just, I'll show you a a couple here so this is if you can see that on the upper right here that's where i would upload i'm on my desktop obviously right now that's where you would upload on the upper right hand corner here but you could see um like this one here was a vertical or horizontal video that i did a fill on see how it's horizontal here can you see that let me see i can't see but i don't know if oh, your yeah, audience you can, can you can't see. i forgot so <laughs> the audience can see that it's a horizontal video and then i did a fill on the top and on the bottom but as you see, as I scroll around on, on these different videos, each one of these, there's something different on the thumbnail to make it more of a thumb stopper is, is what we like to say. Something that's going to make people as they go through their feed, they're going like this and like, whoa, what's this video about? Rather than just, you know, the first second of your video and you're making a funny face and it doesn't look good. Something to at least catch their attention. And like you said, something that looks nice in the in the timeline itself. And then go over here to the posts. I'm gonna have to steal that. Not a thumbnail, but a thumb stopper. Thumb stopper, right? You're like this, and then go, oh shoot, what's that? What? What's this? What is Marky up to today? And she's gonna ask like some kind of and I, I love in I love InShot for that, especially like we're always on the go. So do you repurpose your iPhone per person, right? Are you iPhone or Android? I'm Andrew? an Android girl. Oh, yeah. I, knew I, I knew I loved you for a reason. You're in the Android family. I had a conversation with Carrie the other day about, she's like, Jay, man, you got to get on this iPhone. You don't even know. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm sticking with Android for life. But the uh, Android, you know so what? She, even though I'm an Android girl, I do mm -hmm. have an iPad only so when I want to, I can see what Apple users look at. But that's the only reason I have an iPad. Yeah, same for me. Like sometimes there's there's those apps that release first to iOS and then it goes to Android. So at least I can play with it and know about it. But do you, do you repurpose? Do you do Instagram Live at all and then kind of save it and then repurpose that for? Let's talk about repurposing a little bit because I know you're big. You're big into that. We both are. I I am big into repurposing. Um, so far, my live videos, my Instagram lives, I haven't repurposed them. I Because I am more of a Facebook live girl, um, I am taking those horizontal videos and yeah. repurposing them. So I'm more likely to go into the archives and bring something old back up that's still relevant as opposed to repurposing my Instagram lives. Well, that's still repurposing in a way, right? Especially oh. if it's something from... It's a relevant topic from six months, a year, two years. Maybe didn't get as good of engagement then. You take that, take the horizontal, put it in the 916 format, add it to IGTV. Now everybody's like, whoa, this new video is crazy. And you're like, yeah, I, I, I made it two years ago, but, you know. So. Exactly, right? So you know what's interesting? I know that we're both going to be in uh, Minnesota together in Minneapolis. And right. you just said something that I need to probably add to the repurpose class. Now that we are engaging with vertical and horizontal content and repurposing that, it is a matter of uh, which orient, like which orientation we're going to use, right? So now I have another way to repurpose that content. So I'm going to go and add that. How do we take horizontal and make it vertical or vertical to horizontal, including the InShot app, but giving some other ideas. Sometimes in repurpose, 
repurposing it. Um, I don't repurpose it all the time how I created it. So we, we know that we're going to talk about video creation and repurposing. Sometimes it's video to audio. Sometimes it's video to text. Sometimes now it's going to be horizontal to vertical, right? So you can take video, video, the beauty of video, the fast, the fact that it's so highly engaging is the ability to repurpose it without recreating, okay? So I can easily strip just that audio, or I can do audio to text, and now I have a podcast, or I have a blog, or I have an Alexa flash briefing, right? Um, you, you know what, Jay, talk, uh, Jay man, talking to you today, I just realized I got to add like 20 more dang on things to this class, right? And I only got so much well, time. You know, we we um, have a lot of time. We got 30 days. You know, we work on deadlines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll be so, yeah, so I have some things. things. To, to add, right? Because it's something new every single day. But when we think about repurposing, um, generally, you know, people think it's this one path and there's multiple, it's, it's multiple paths that we can take to, to, to reformat, change the dimensions, change the dynamics, add emojis, to, uh, uh, add GIFs, right? Or GIFs. Do you pronounce it GIFs or GIFs? I pronounce it GIFs. Okay, gifts. Uh, yeah. uh, look, that's easy. Gifts to add gifts and and to change it. You know, I'm using a tool called the Headliner app, right? I'm repurposing content that way. I use another tool called Designer. So it is no limit to how you can repurpose the content. You can take long form, make it short, uh, short form. Form. You could take a long video and make it into a series. You know, I mean, it's just. Jeez, Louise! I, I just, I just, yeah. Oh, I see it now, Jay. You see it? I see it. I All see right, it. I, hey, I, you brought, they need I, to go follow your girl, Marky yeah, Lemons on Instagram. I brought it up. It's, it's at Marky Lemons on IG, uh -huh. so you can see all it. If we go to IGTV, you can see some of the content that you're putting out here. See how the these these thumbnails are popping. IGTV is on and popping. <laughs> now let me say this. So go back up. That here. red yeah. and that red and black one. I couldn't get my. I was just getting starting to work with the dimensions of going from the vertical to the square. So you see the one on the left hand side is a little bit more centered without that dead white space because I got the dimensions right. I'm like, okay, this is it right here. Yeah. Uh, so to just Instagram that last tab, you will see how it sits center. When people are looking in the feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And look at wait, we got this one here. This one's this one's Oh fun. man, that's on and popping there. That's <laughs> hot. Who's that young fan stood there? Oh. <laughs> this, is, this is funny. Yeah, this is good. Uh, so make sure you follow Marky. Um, what else what else do we want to tell these folks? I mean, really it's just I think for those that are watching who are Get what? It, what was it that you said? You're getting ready to get ready. You said in oh, there stop last. Stop getting week. ready to get. Okay, so usually I say uh, stop getting ready to get ready to do video, right? So now okay. it is stop getting ready to get ready to do Instagram Live, IGTV. You got to go on and do it, and it's okay if you make a mistake. You're not going to learn unless you make some mistakes, unless you have some failures. So you heard me say I delete stuff. Uh, if you could have seen my chin peeking out. And that little square box over on, it looked real good on IGTV. It looked horrible on the Instagram feed. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to take that down and redo it. I, th I think I saw that. I was like, I, what? I'm I sure you did. In, you I like, saw it in the movie. Like, I was like, what is going on? You were like, what's going on? It's, yeah, yeah. it's me testing it and, 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 and realizing once I loaded it, like, oh, it looked real good over there. Don't look so good over here, Marky. So how do we make it work? Oh go centered and keep everything nice like that last one nice and centered um so that it it can display well regardless to whether it's an IGTV or in the Instagram feed yeah and and i think it's important for people to know like who cares like you like we we everything that we've learned it's through trial and error we do stuff we mess up i mess up every day I, on live streaming, especially, you're going to make mistakes. But guess what? Sometimes those are the best moments. Though, like that's the that's the goal that people love. Like you know, when when, when I saw you in Vegas that time, you're like, I'm like, Michael, let's just do a live. She's like, What are we going to do it on? I don't know. Let's just do it. 
and we just we just it. had fun and i think that's what what people saw was like you know those we're just having fun like it, it and that's our personalities our our personalities shine through and i think that's where a lot of agents are too worried about appearing professional and i had somebody in, in my class last week and said well how is anybody going to take you seriously i go they don't have to if they don't want to i don't care. like it's if i am who i am right it's like popeye said I think they take us like I know for a fact people take me serious because if you think about it, we work for realtor associations, banks right. and title companies. We're being hired by CEOs, director of education and then programming chairs and co-chairs. So I, I you know, I, I have over 50 real estate related licenses, designations and certifications and an advanced degree and taught at the University of Chicago. I'm not worried about uh, people taking me serious. They know that I can get serious, but I enjoy my job. And I think that the passion comes through when you don't take it so serious, when you're able to laugh at yourself, especially publicly. And so uh, people know we did serious. Once we drop them nuggets and they start resonating and they, and they like, oh, that's a fact, you know, like, oh man, that really helped me out. And because we have so much content online, Right. People start to go through that content while we're sleeping and it validates who we are. So it's more about content. You can get a comedian and he can sell houses if people like him, right. if people trust him. Like no one trusts. Yep. Right. And so, yeah. So I, I know that we we going to bring some. And here's the thing. In doing today's Facebook Live, we had to come up with a subject that we're not going to reveal in our class, right? And I think we've done a phenomenal job at doing that. Right. And that lets them know how much more they're going to learn because we had to make sure that we have this great content to deliver them, but that we walked around the circle for today to bring them something we're not going to bring them when we see each other. That's right. So if, if, if you're watching this and you're anywhere within a drive or a flight or a pony express train, I don't know, train <laughs> plane, Uber, auto, it doesn't lift. matter however you can get there uh, we're going to be in the Minneapolis area association of realtors uh, realtor day i think that's what they're calling it right realtor day on april yep. 25th exactly 1 month from today um, i'll be talking about live video success systems and then marky's coming right after me going back to back pow, pow. I'm gonna hit him with that. Hit him with that. Uh, you're doing repurposing, re right, right, repurposing the video content. So okay. some of it we kind of talked about today. And one thing that people need to understand about us teaching is the fact that we don't teach theory. We actively engage with the two. So if a person asks us a question, we know how to take you to our devices or tell you to pull out your device and show you exactly how to do it. So if you want to learn. Uh, how to utilize the most engaging form of content being video, then you definitely need to register for Realtor Day with the Minneapolis area. Is it Area Association of Realtors? Yeah. Um, and come see us. No no reason you shouldn't be there. I want to say, that talking about bloopers, um, I did an event for them last year, and it was the Minneapolis Area Association of Realtors in conjunction with the Minnesota Mortgage Association brings you Connect 2018. 42 takes. Okay, after a while, I was like, beep, 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 I had to like, it was, I had to take a break, walk away. But we all, you know, it was like a tongue twister, Minneapolis area. Association. Well, you got it now. You got it now. That lets me know you practice it. So you got oh, it now. That's right. yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. So uh, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in again. Follow Marky. It's at Marky Lemons on the IG. Same thing on Facebook, right? And everything else. We'll post it. Everything in else. Marky Lemons, Marky Lemons, Marky Lemons, Marky Lemons. <laughs> <laughs> Get that lemonade, Marky Lemons. Get that lemonade, yes. <laughs> well, I appreciate you for having me on yep. today. Yeah, uh, and we're going to see each other out here on the road. That's where we see each other, online and on the road. But right. uh, looking forward to our day together, teaching them all about video. And more importantly, if they implement what we tell them, they will make more money. Right, we will change lives which is why we do this so again thanks for tuning in everybody j-man's ed talks number 12 uh i think we got a millennial who talks this friday we got pete diaz peter diaz man that went from living in a hut in puerto rico 
to a multi-million dollar producer in the city and Long Island. So it's going to be a great story. You got to tune in on Friday at 1 p.m. We'll post that in the comments below as well. Make it a great day. Keep changing lives, making sure that we are the architects of the American dream.